I'm Toby Haydock. I'm an actor, a writer, and a stand-up comedian, and I've had psoriasis for 30 years. My name is Pippa Farina. I've had it for 40 years, and I'm fine with it now. My name is Josie. I'm an English split student at Leeds Met University, and I have psoriasis. Psoriasis is a common inflammatory skin disease that occurs in about 2 million people in the United Kingdom. Psoriasis is more than just a skin condition. It affects uh, individuals very significantly. The psychological impact is often manifest as what we call avoidance coping. And people will avoid situations where others may comment. With comedy, it sort of helped me face it down a little bit because people forget that there's a person behind the thing. I, I cannot get into the mindset of anybody that says something to somebody who has a thing. And I do do a joke about it where I say if comics talk about their battle with cancer, people think that's terribly brave. If comics talk about the battle with depression, people think, oh gosh, well that's very deep, they're confronting something amazing. If you talk about bad skin, people go, ugh. I've got much better as I've got older. Uh, because I feel like I've learned to accept it. I used to fight it, fight it hard. I didn't think it was normal. I didn't think other people would think it was normal. I could barely, you know, look at it myself. I had two patches here that were stubborn and never went away. I picked at those so they got worse and I smoked at the time as well, so that probably didn't help, but nothing, nothing seemed to get rid of those. I felt like it was all consuming, as it was physically something that would spread across my body. It was also something that would kind of plague my mind in a similar sort of way. They say it's related, stress related as well, so that you feel like you're just trapped in this vicious sort of cycle of you know, and the more I get, the more I get stressed about it, the worse it's going to get. I'm a member of this chorus, uh, and we get changed anywhere. You know, we, we're put in little tiny changing rooms before performances, and with the help and support of those people, I'm fine. You know, it's I just do not have to worry about it anymore, which is wonderful. I would cover myself up. I wouldn't speak to anybody about it. I didn't even want to acknowledge it myself, and because I wasn't talking about it, I almost didn't have to. Speaking about it made it more real. I thought, well, this is it. This is me. This is this is what you get. There's no cure. Everyone says there's no cure for psoriasis. Nobody does talk about having psoriasis. You do spot it in other people occasionally. But considering it is such a common condition, um, I don't see it very much. So I know that the other people like me out there are covering it up extremely well. With the advances made in the basic science, the advances made in the uh, understanding the psychology of managing patients with psoriasis, we really are in a very strong position, perhaps not to cure psoriasis, but to allow psoriasis to have a minimal impact on a patient's life. It would be fair to say, more than fair to say that my psoriasis is no longer a hindrance and it's not something that controls me. Um, although I might not necessarily be completely be able to control it, it certainly is, we're on par <laughs> now. <laughs> Rather than fighting this and resisting it, I just decided to accept it. It's my skin. We've been together a long time. These people gave me great care and um, have made a massive, huge difference to my life. All on the National Health Service. So, yes, if they say, can you come and make a speech here or can you come and do this, I'll do it with bells on. Because it's not just that I feel slightly better, it's that my life is completely transformed.